is um, the main um, treatment options, uh, and these drugs can uh, and can be combined to maximize the efficiency. A bit like patients that you're treating with diabetes, where you combine their treatment with different drugs to um, improve the efficacy of treatment uh, response. Importantly, uh, patients who have acromegaly, even with the normalization of IGF-1, patients can still complain of uh, symptoms, and this is certainly something that we should not uh, neglect and take, take it uh, seriously, particularly headaches, abnormalities, and so not to forget to proactively treat these patients' comorbidities. Radiation, again, like uh, prolactinomas, is usually not the first line, it's often like the second or third line, particularly in some patients who are tough to treat, where, radiate, uh, where surgery has not uh, uh, induced radiation. I think that leaves a lot out of what we do and how we treat our patients. Um, there, are a lot of our patients miss out, miss out on stuff symptomatically when that when that happens. So, when I asked what to talk about for this this um, presentation, they said go from basic to advanced. So, it, it's a wide breadth um, and no stress there. <laughs> it requires the patient to be fasting. Additional labs are valuable. No caffeine. Hold any dexamethasone for 24 to 48 hours and hold with a hydrocortisone AM dose. I let patients know to bring it with them just so they can take it after the test is completed. I ask if they had any steroid injections recently. If so, um, the testing may be postponed for four weeks. And to stop any biotin supplements five weeks prior. Patients may not know what biotin supplements are, so I ask if they're taking any nail or hair supplements that probably, if they look at the ingredients, have biotin in it. I inform them that the total test time is approximately one and a half hours. 